Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to the channel. Have you ever been sending a uh, file on Lightburn and all of a sudden it stops and throws up alarm too, particularly in your diode laser? Well, I'm going to show you how to clear that and what causes it and hopefully how you can prevent it in the future. So let's get in Lightburn and get going. All right, here I have a very super simple design. It takes about five seconds to burn that. I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. And we'll just watch what happens here. Let it run. Do, 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 do. And we got, wow, bam. A couple errors. We got error code 2 and error code 9. So, it's not happy. What happened? Well, let's start by clicking on the preview button. And you see, what's all this stuff on, on the, around it? That's all designs that I have off the work area of the laser. And I like to work that way a lot. I'll have, have stuff that I'm working with out on the side, pull it in as I need it, and things like that. And I'm sure many of you do that as well. Or it could be even just an errant um, shape. You had the pencil tool selected and you clicked, made a couple clicks and made a, a really small mark there or something, or rectangle. And anything that can be off your work area that's on a cut, cutter and grave layer will affect this. So first thing we need to do is clear this error out. And we'll just click dollar sign X. Okay. Maybe that's it. And let's home it. And it's back home. Ready to go. Okay, so how do we prevent this from happening in the first place? Well, the first thing, and something that you really should do every, every project, is use the preview window. Click there, and you can see right here, this green rectangle square is the work area of your laser. Anything that's outside there is going to cause a problem. What, what causes the alarm, too, in particular, is as it burns here, and I'll go real slowly, it burns that, burns that, burns that. And now when it starts that move right there, it's going out of bounds. It knows it's going to go out of bounds, and that's when it throws the error. It says, nope, we can't do that. So it stops the laser and throws the error code. So as you get into the preview window, run through it, and you can see what's going to happen. You can see that it's going to have an error. So how do we prevent that? Well, there's a couple ways. First thing, let's go into our device settings. That's the wrench and screwdriver icon. And right here, it says enable out-of-bounds warning. We're going to turn that on and see what happens. That's the only change we made. Let's hit send, start. And we get this warning now. Cut may be out of bounds. Continue anyway. And if you're smart, you're going to go, oh, no, let's find out why what's going on here. But if you click OK, if you click yes, it's going to do exactly like it did. It's going to burn this first shape and then error out exactly the same way. We don't want that. So that's the first thing you want to do is have that warning enabled. Now, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to go into the, the just general settings. And this setting here says ignore out of bound shapes if possible. So we're going to click that on. And that only works if you're working in absolute coordinates. So we have that selected now as well. I didn't make any other changes. Now I'm going to click on it. And all we see is the, sh the shape that's actually in our work area. So it's going to run that and everything will be just fine. Now, but what happens if we go to current position? Well, let's click it again and everything's back there again. So it's going to, it's going to do this exact same thing it just did. It's going to, it's going to cause an error and user origin, same way, same way. So the out of, ignore out of bounds only works if you're using absolute coordinates, but is very handy and that other um this warning here the out of bounds warning you got to have that turned on that that'll save you many all kinds of grief now since this will still show burn everything how do we fix that well simple way use cut selected graphics and we're just going to select this and now that's the only thing that cuts but Watch what happens when I, when I hit start. We got another error. 
still got alarm two and, and error code nine. Why was that? Well, that is because our job origin is not associated with that graphic. Our job origin is off the screen because when you have when you have um, items on your screen, it encompasses everything that you have as part of your job. But if you change it and click Use Selection Origin, now the Job Origin button comes down to only the selection, and that's going to go exactly where you want it to go. So you know you have the different radio buttons that you can move it around. You can start from center if you want to. You know. But when I click Play here, it still looks the same. But let me clear this out. And run it again with both those settings. It runs two, one, zero, and it completed. Completed the job, no issues, because we used cut selected graphics and selection origin in user origin or current position. Either way, it's gonna that'll work the same. It's still gonna show it's only gonna burn this one object and the origin. The job origin is associated with that particular object. So I hope this helps you understand what causes the error code, the error two, and error nine that's often associated with it. But you know, you can clear it out with a very simple keystroke of dollar sign X in the console window. That'll clear it. Then re it's always good to rehome just for positioning. And that should do it for this quick tip video. Hope you found it useful. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.